especially people who are difficult and who are challenging and somebody you do not agree with, there you really can learn about who they are, about the other person, but they also provide you with the ability to learn about yourself. As they represent something, it's when something comes up that triggers you or makes you feel uncomfortable, it is something within yourself, a past experience, a feeling, a negative feeling within yourself that you are not really aware of and you somehow want to push away. It is really like the idea that we all mirrors. It's an important concept, the mirror. We all are mirrors. But usually we only surround ourselves with people and want to be with people who, when we look into that mirror, we like what we see. But many times when we are with somebody and, and their mirror shows us something that we don't want to look at, we have a tendency of rejecting that because we don't want to see that. It makes us feel uncomfortable. But it's really important to look at that because otherwise we cannot see ourselves clearly. We cannot see what is. We only see what we want to see. And that is also commonly known that we human beings, we have been, well, that's how we, that's what we learn, to look for what we want. But that only keeps us from seeing things as they are. It keeps us from seeing other people as they are and from seeing ourselves as we are. But what I'm suggesting here in inviting you is to engage in that practice of really looking into that mirror, really looking at other people really looking at yourself through them as something is stimulated in you or triggered in you that you're not really comfortable with. Because that, and then you can learn. And that's, again, the main message here, that life is learning. And that's really, at least I've come to find out, that's what it means, that we all are teachers and we're all students in one. And this is a kind of learning that is, again, very different from what we're used to, like going to school and they're learning about different subjects, about math, math, mathematics and biology and history and different facts and information. This is more the experiential learning through which we get to know ourselves, through which we get to know other, others as we learn them, we learn ourselves. And I've come to find that actually is the meaning of life, to gain true knowledge of self. Thank you.